Hello friends, I am Shubham and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will see object detection in live stream or real time video using yellow v3 algorithm. This is a part 2 of the object detection series that I am making. I will uh, provide the link uh, to the part 1 of this series where I have just uh, gave a demo on object detection on images. An image uh, you know, is a single frame that captures a single static instance of a naturally occurring event and on the other hand a video contains many instances of static images displayed in one second just inducing the effect of viewing a naturally occurring event right so technically a single static image in a video is called a video frame in most videos the number of frames in one second of the video ranges between 20 to 32 and this is uh, called frames per second or fps so let's uh, start coding right this code is uh, just a modification to the one discussed in part one that is uh, object detection in images so please check that out before watching this part two of this series for better understanding actually so the only changes that we made to the previous code will be using uh, v3 320 that is yellow v3 t 320 model uh, as you can see here, we are using this image size as 320 uh, instead of 416 which we used in image. This is the code for image uh, like object detection in images. So here we used, uh, let me find the blob, yeah, so 416 image size, okay. So we will be using yellow v3 320 for this uh, uh, object detection videos. So this is one change that we will make and previously we used a single image and uh, as an input. Uh, as you can see this image and then we got output like you are detecting all the objects like cars person traffic lights on this image in this video we will take a uh, we actually will take um, you know uh, process our live video into frames then perform same things like converting into blob to set the scale factors image size for yolo 320 then mean subtraction swapping rgb to bgr forward pass everything will happen here only okay so here is you are reading uh, frame by frame then what you are doing is uh, you are extracting the height width and channels from the frame then you are converting in, into the blob like you are giving the scale factor that is 1 by 255 here 0 0.00392 this is the image size of yolo v3 uh, 320 model this is the mean subtraction we are not doing anything so uh, keeping it as 0 for now this is this true is for the swap rb that is uh, converting rgb to bgr for uh, cv to uh, open cv yeah, so pretty much that and this is the forward pass like you get the output layers here uh, yellow 16 yellow 23 or yellow 84 uh, if you used uh, like I am using here tiny tiny like uh, yellow v3 tiny and another one is yellow v3 only so this actually is not that accurate as as compared to the yellow v3 model but it takes uh, you know less time to uh, visualize so uh, the model is uh, smaller it's small less number of parameters yeah and uh, yeah pretty much that and this is just uh, you know what we uh, discussed in the previous video uh, pre like the part one like object detection images the same thing you can it is applicable for this also for frame to frame because we are taking only one frame in that video the single image and there will be frames uh, in this video like a video so frames per second so here what we are doing is uh, we are trying to predict the confidence meaning how confident the algorithm is when it predicts some object for this we will be like looping through the outputs that you are getting out from the forward pass this one okay and then uh, we'll get the class ids and the highest score amongst uh, to assign that okay like uh, if you get the uh, the arg max of the scores say class 1 to uh, 5 you have got so if you have uh, more uh, score for class 1 that means that the object bill that is how much confident it is to uh, say that yeah it is uh, belonging to class 1 or class 2 so we'll take the arg max of that probability okay okay so uh, pretty much the same thing and um, now we'll like assign the confidence level here uh, of 0 0.3 okay and anything above 0 0.3 would mean object is detected also let's have like the center coordinates uh, width and height of object detected we will use the height and width which was previously previously saved from the frame like this one uh, where it is this part okay and uh, we will use it here 
to get the set center coordinates of this one okay then uh, similarly we'll also draw a circle of thickness 2 and uh, uh, just for the sake of proof that the object has been detected further uh, we will be drawing rectangles around the detected object by using center x center y and all those things that you have uh, extracted okay and there may must be like uh, uh, there are multiple times the same object has been detected so we want to eliminate that and we will be using non max uh, suppressions here nms boxes here we are using uh, iio threshold of 0 0.6 uh, as we have already discussed in the part one of this uh, series so you can check that out first like anything uh, less than 0 0.6 iou threshold will be removed so iou is the performance metric that it, metric that is being used here and um, we have discussed about this in uh, the part one of this video you can check that out so yeah pretty much it and uh, this is nothing and you're just uh, this is just the put text that you're embedding a text in the uh, image or in the video and you are showing the frames per second here so yeah so the only thing left is to run the code okay so i think we'll be using yolo uh, tiny one so because it is faster okay so and you know that yolo v3 has been uh, trained on uh, ms coco data set so it can classify these 80 objects here okay so most probably uh, we'll try to see what it can detect so yeah so this is a video in which it is able to detect a person it is able to detect the cars uh, pretty much it and nothing more in this video okay so i think we should go further and try to see all the detection in live stream so uh, for live stream uh, the changes that we are going to make is just we are gonna uh, comment this out and just we will be putting a zero here okay for uh, our laptops webcam if you want uh, like if you have an external camera then you can set it to one so let's run this code and see what it can detect yeah most probably it is detecting me as a person okay so let's um, you know go to our mobile and try to get some images out okay so is it detecting this yeah it is detecting the car uh, but there is some NMS problem like uh, there are multiple boxes for the same image cell phone also sometimes it is being detected yeah see cell phone and car okay and there is a person mm, I think we can optimize this by using not using the uh, YOLO tiny and using the YOLO v3 model let's try that one so the only changes that we make here it will be uh, uncommenting this part for yellow v3 and commenting out this uh, tiny dot weights okay these weights i will be giving you the links where from from where you can download the cfg file as well as the weights in my previous uh, part one video also i have given you the link you can download it from there i'll give you the link in the description below okay so let's run this code okay um, okay sorry So yeah, here you can see that where it is gone. Okay, it is able to detect a person here. The frames are slow here. Okay, so here you can see that. Uh, yeah, it is detecting better than that. Okay, cell phone and I think car. Yeah, it is detecting the car also. Uh, cell phone and cars. So pretty much it and I think it is working very well uh, okay from way to close so yeah um, if you have low latency requirement then uh, obviously you can use um, the tiny uh, because it is uh, less accurate but um, for low latency you can do this or you can optimize this uh, YOLO v3 code only by taking uh, less number of frames or more number of frames you can optimize uh, as the way you want okay so pretty much it for this video i think uh, you have understood the code as i've already explained in the first part please go to the first part and watch that video first and then come to this part so that you can understand the each and every line better okay so if you like this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel 
I'll be bringing more handy automation tricks. I'll be bringing more interview questions and also uh, computer vision, NLP, and lots of projects are in online, okay, on pipeline. So yeah, uploading them will take time, but uh, I'll be uploading a hell lot of things. So please stay tuned and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications first. Thank you. Bye-bye.